We begin tonight with two men who know Donald Trump well. Anthony Scaramucci served as White House Communications Director. Under Trump, Corey Lewandowski managed Trump's 26th campaign. Gentlemen, great to have both of you here. Corey. I, I miss you, Corey. I miss you. <laughs> How are you, Moose? There they I'm are. The boys good are with the flag. The boys are back together. Um, Corey, start with you. Nobody probably knows Donald Trump better than you do in some ways politically. Nobody knows how to manipulate the media better than Donald Trump does or how the media is going to react to something. So he's got every cable network carrying his news conference. Everyone. All across the board. They're listening. He has the moral high ground. He is the guy talking to the press. Kamala Harris is not. We pointed that out. I think every day we've done a show since she has been the nominee. And he chooses, not because he was asked a question, but chooses to compare crowd sizes on January 6th to MLK's speech and brings up January 6th. He knows that everybody in the media, hook, line, and sinker, is going to go, and all they're going to talk about is that soundbite. So why did he do it? Because Leland, he wants to control the media narrative and the old axiom of, you know, all press is good press as long as they spell your name right, is what Donald Trump has lived and survived by for 40 years. So no one is talking about the fact that, you know, whatever happened last week happened. They're now talking about Donald Trump again. He had the opportunity to get every national media outlet to come to his home, Mar-a-Lago, to hold a one-hour press conference. That probably could have been done in 15 minutes. But he just went on to talk about things. And now every network, every major cable outlet is going to talk about Donald Trump's press conference. And he has taken back what Kamala Harris had taken away from him, which is the spotlight in this presidential campaign. All right. Reasonable explanation. We'll see whether or not it changes any minds. Uh, Anthony, when you were the communications director at the White House, uh, you were not there for 18 days. But if you had been, and in those 18 days, Donald Trump did not do a single meaningful interaction with the press and then went on to say, well, I might, but it could be another couple of weeks until I'm going to talk to anybody. What would the press reaction be? Well, I don't necessarily know what the press reaction would be, but I would have lasted a lot longer. I think I think Corey <laughs> knows that I would have I mean, if he, he didn't talk to the press. I, I could have maybe made it six months. Right, Corey? I don't know. But here, here, here's here's the thing, Leland. He, and, and I, I would like to hear what Corey says about this, because he knows him very well. He's off message a little bit. You know, when, when, when Trump is beating the drum perfectly, you can see it. He was beating the drum going into, unfortunately, the ghastly and tragic assassination attempt. He recovered a little bit at the convention. But frankly, in fairness to him, I think he was dazed by the assassination attempt. And then this shook his world, Kamala Harris coming in and them having to redo their playbook. And so he hasn't found his message 100 percent yet. And I think today was a reset for him. And Corey knows him well. My guess is he went to his staff and said, let me show you how it's done. I'm going to go out and speak to the staff, uh, uh, the, excuse me, the press. She's not willing to do that. And uh, it got a little unhinged, frankly, in my opinion. He would have been better served Corey, if he was a little Corey, does Trump subtler. still have his fastball, the 2016 fastball? Oh, he, well, I think he, look, he does. He does. Or does Leland, it, it's different. It's different now. Okay, look, you've got a guy who's been in the league a long time. He was a rookie when he came in. And, you know, he won the Super Bowl uh, MVP all in the first time. And that's unheard of, Okay. And now he's a much different candidate than he was eight years ago. And it's a much different electorate. And by the way, this is a much different race than it has been for the last year. Running against Kamala Harris and the, the governor of Minnesota, Walsh, is a very different race than running against Joe Biden. And what we're seeing now is the honeymoon period for Kamala Harris. It's been three weeks since we've closed the Republican convention. And at that time, Leland, most people said it was the most united they've ever seen the Republican Party. Now what people are saying is the campaign is off the rails. There's no plan. We're in free fall. OK, Kamala Harris has had a good run. She raised a lot of money so far, but she hasn't sat down for a question. And I don't believe the American people actually know who, how liberal she truly is. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.